we both got sort of dressed up and went over to the party, knocked on the door, they invited us in. It was a great event. They had dinner and uh, wonderful friends. And after a little while, we finally figured out this wasn't the neighborhood party, all right? <laughs> this, this, was a, this was some guy having some friends over, and, and we just happened to show up for dinner. And, uh, but I met some wonderful people. Uh, one was a, a former uh, Navy SEAL. Uh, and uh, Glenn Doherty, and he, and he uh, uh, we chatted for a while. He, uh, he came from Massachusetts, where I'd been governor, and uh, had family there. Uh, he also uh, had skied in some of the places, snow skiing, that I had found uh, during the Winter Olympics in Utah that I'd skied at, and uh, we had a nice chat together. Uh, he, uh, he served as a Navy SEAL, and, uh, and after his service as a SEAL, after a number of years, he, he had stayed involved helping in the Middle East, providing security services to our government and to other enterprises to provide help to them. And you can imagine how shocked I was to learn that he was one of the two Navy, former Navy SEALs killed in Benghazi just a couple of weeks ago. And, uh, and I read on CNN Inter International that when the report came that our consulate had been attacked, that he and the other SEAL that was killed with him, that they were in a different place. They were about a mile away in an annex somewhere else in the city. And when they heard that the consulate was under attack, they went to the attack. They didn't hunker down and, and, and hide themselves. No, they went there. That's what Americans do. When there's a challenge, when there's a threat, we go there. When things are tough, we don't give up. We keep fighting. 